I'm here with Ivan Smith, who's here from Cambridge, and you were in, Ivan, you were invited to give a lecture here at the International Congress of Mathematicians. Your work is in an area called symplectic topology. Can you give us an idea of what that involves? Yeah, so in geometry we tend to be studying manifolds, which are spaces that locally look very simple but might have some global structure. So a circle is a one-dimensional manifold, the surface of a sphere or a donut is a two-dimensional manifold. Um, often you put geometric structures on these manifolds, for instance you might be interested in measuring lengths or angles, that's Riemannian geometry. In symplectic topology we think about the geometry of area, it partly comes because in dynamics particles have both positions and momenta and so certain pairs of directions get coupled together because they go with the same particle and it gives the subject a sort of particular flavour. So it came from dynamics, but now it connects to many other parts of mathematics. And in your lecture that you gave here at the Congress, can you give us an idea of, of what you were talking about? Yeah, so when we study these symplectic manifolds, one thing we're interested in is their global symmetries. So there's a group of symmetries associated to such a space. And I was talking about some recent work I did with Nick Sheridan, a, brilliant young chap at Cambridge moving to Edinburgh and we proved that for some of these spaces this group's much larger than you might have expected in particular much larger than it would be if you didn't keep account of this sort of symplectic structure and one thing that's very nice about this story is that the methods of proof go via connections to other subjects in particular to algebraic geometry which is usually a more rigid subject studying polynomials and the bridge between this differential and algebraic geometry actually has its origins in physics, in something called mirror symmetry. So it's some sort of congruence of many ideas which we found very appealing. And how have you been enjoying the Congress so far? Have you had any highlights? There have been many highlights. Uh, it's been slightly overwhelming with so many things going on. The Congress was opened after the opening ceremony with a plenary lecture by my former advisor, Simon Donaldson, and it was a pleasure to watch him speak. I thought he gave a beautiful talk. It's been a wonderful opportunity to go to talks in other areas. I heard some beautiful talks in dynamics by Laura DeMarco, for instance, in combinatorics by Jun Ho, areas that I wouldn't usually get to go and listen to. And of course, I've heard many of my own colleagues talk in things close to me. So the breadth has been very special. And why is it, um, what brings people to the International Congress of Mathematicians? It's a combination of many things. I think the opportunity to interact with people in many areas, the opportunity to advertise one's own subject, the circle of questions one cares about. There's an aspect of the honour of being invited, which plays a big role. But I think that often in turn is reflecting on a sense of certain subjects coming of age and growing into their ascendance and it's very good to keep track of where that's happening in other parts of mathematics to get new ideas and just to re-establish old connections, see old friends, see somewhere new. Thank you very much, I hope you really enjoy the rest of the Congress. Thank you.